morning all, welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. Oh. Hello, <laughs> look how cute you are. <laughs> He's tucked up, He's tucked up all nicely. Um, today's video is a, uh, a video that I alluded to in a video that I've made recently. Um, I made a video called um, Five Star Predictions and Why I Haven't Read Them Yet something like that title. One of the books within there was um, Gender, Sex and Gossip in Ambridge, Women in the Archers by Cara Courage and Nicola Hedlund. Uh, this is a book that I got for Christmas off of David's parents last year. Um, this is about, this, it's, it's, this is pretty niche. <laughs> it's about um, women, uh, gender and all sorts that happens in the Archers, which is a Radio 4, um, how would you call it, like a radio soap? Yeah. yeah, like an ongoing radio drama that's been going on for like 65 years. Um, and I saw this um, book, asked for it for Christmas and got it. I've been putting it off because I really want to do some sort of like studying with this. I went to university and did sociology um, and social policy at university. Uh, God, how many years ago was that? 15 years ago? Maybe more. No, about 15 years ago. Um, and I really enjoyed the studying part of it. I didn't always do the studying part of it, but I feel like I miss studying. Um, and uh, and I wanted I to talk. You don't, do you? No. You didn't enjoy studying at all. No. You didn't enjoy writing things in different colour pens on. Uh, no, I on didn't. Cards. I enjoy it more now, but I didn't back then. No. No. So I thought I would do that today with this book. So this Tuesday that is happening now, get comfy. Um, I'm going to treat it like I. I'm a student, like I used to act when I was a student. So uh, I've got myself some lovely pastel highlighters. These were a pound in Asda before, and they're all delightful. Uh, I've got myself my favourite four colour Bic pen with all of these sort of like very similar colours actually to this pen. Um, and then yesterday in b and I bought myself a lovely little uh, um, GNB. What's that? General Notebook. General Notebook? Yeah. Oh. It used to be cool. I did it? Yeah, GNB. I never called it that. This was 89 pence and it's bright yellow and lovely. The only thing I will say is that these lines are not my best lines. I used to like really thin lines because I've got quite small handwriting. And yeah, I'm going to work my way through um, Gender, Sex and Gossip in Ambridge, Women in the Archers. I'll share with you some of the things I've learned. As I said, this is probably going to be pretty niche um, because, <laughs> like, maybe not all of you watch The Archers. Um, listen. But uh, listen, listen to The Archers, thank you. I don't even listen. I do listen, really. Um, and uh, I'm going to listen to some Archers at some point today. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to do a few little sort of studying things that I used to do when I was a student. I'm going to dress like I was a student. I'm going to um, eat like I was a student. Leave the kitchen in a tip like you're a student. I did used to leave the kitchen in a tip. She still does. I still do. But luckily I've got this little guy now who cleans up after me. So first things first, um, I'm going to have my breakfast. And when I was a student, my main breakfast was dippy egg uh, with soldiers. That's pretty much my, my main breakfast that I used to eat. No wonder I was so bound up all the time. Dippy egg every day. So I'm going to have dippy egg with soldiers and I'm going to crack on with my book. What are you going to do, David? I've got to work phone call. He's got to work phone call. So he's not playing students today, but no. let's get on with oh, it. God, I've got to be the grown up today. I haven't even got as far as making any notes yet. And already, just while sitting on the toilet, I've come across a very important point. Let me hold this like this. The important point is that, so John Finnemore from BBC Radio 4 on his souvenir programme, he, he's a comedian and he noted that the, uh, the men always sound tired from their hard work of farming business and the insufferably wry women are the incidental makers of coffee, speak to move the plot along and are smugly tolerating of the men folk. And that is absolutely true. So that is uh, on page two, um, something that I'm going to, uh, to make a note of. But already, haven't even written the title on my little notebook yet, my GMB, um, and already yeah. found an amazing point. So... Here's David, just over my shoulder. Um, I'm gonna go make that dippy egg now and make a note of that point. Mm. No, that's not what I'm saying. She pointed the finger pretty much straight after the explosion, Kirsty. Don't you remember? Breakfast problem number one. I don't have egg cups. I thought I had, I mean, we don't often have dippy egg. I thought I had one kicking around somewhere. So I think we're basically gonna ha I'm gonna have like a soft boiled egg. Chop that in half and put it on a bit of toast. Put it on soldiers. Same sort of vibe. Yeah, how was your week off last week then? The rest of it? Um, 
Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfection. So how would you say it's going so far, Minnie? Is it going good? I've read the first two chapters. They're very much introductory, so sort of like overviews of what's happening in the arches. I really don't know how this video's going to turn out. It's so niche. Um, and uh, had me... Uh, had me eggs on toast. Look at me, she's so cute. Mm, she's not gonna like being it. Oh no, maybe she's relaxing. Um, but I'm gonna get ready for the day now. And I'm gonna dress how I used to dress when I was a student now. I've got a few photos of when I was at university. Are you going, Minnie, or are you staying? She's staying. Um, I was very into scarves. Honestly, I don't think a day went by at uni when I didn't wear a scarf. And I used to wear, like, skinny jeans, scarves, a lot of, like, stripy T-shirts, a lot of H&M. I worked in H&M when I was a student, so I used to get 25% off of there, so that was nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wear skinny jeans, a stripy t-shirt, and a scarf today. <laughs> um, also, I'd, do you know what? I had such lovely long hair. Really, really lovely and long it was. Um, and I it doesn't look like I did much to it in terms of like straightening or anything. It always looked in quite good nick. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna wash my hair because it is disgusting. Oh, sorry, Minnie. Oh, she's stretching, she's so cute. Um, yeah, I'm going to, oh, she's moving away. <laughs> I'm going to do that and then I'm going to crack on with a little bit more. I haven't written anything in my notebook yet. I've just been pure highlighting. Um, but yeah, then I'm going to sit at the table and do a bit of writing. What are you going to do, Minnie? She's going to snooze. <laughs> so here I am, dressed like I used to. I feel quite comfortable. In fact, these are the very jeans that I used to wear. Um, when I was a student, I bought them in Topshop with what, a student loan at some point. And this scarf I bought. This is a new t-shirt from Jodie. Well, new secondhand from Depop. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to go. I haven't done anything with my hair or my makeup, just having a lovely time. I am now about to start getting a book. Copying up. I've, I've read quite a few chapters of this and highlighted a fair few bits. So I'm going to write up the notes from the bits that I've highlighted into my lovely little yellow book, sitting over here with a cup of tea and doing that. Then I'm gonna go on to another chapter. I've also I've got a cake to make this afternoon. It's Bake Off tonight. So Great British Bake Off in the UK is back. Um, so I'm going to make a cake because we've got my friend Emma coming round this evening for sausage and mash, which is another dinner I used to eat all the time when I was a student. Um, and uh, we're going to, to watch Bake Off and eat a bit of cake. So baking wasn't something I did when I was a student. Did I, I just, I don't know, I just don't think I was interested in it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna fit that in. I've also got to go to the shop to get eggs because I ate two of the eggs that I was gonna use this afternoon, uh, this morning, so need to do that. But let's get a cup of tea and let's get doing some more notes. I've just been through and written up my three, so <clears throat> for the three sort of essays or chapters I've read, I've been through and written up my notes. I mean, this makes me so happy, different colours pens and highlighters. I'm really, really into this and enjoying it as well. And it's it it's all good and well enjoying the archers on a sort of listen to the podcast and or the omnibus and catch up way. But this I'm really like looking into the, the deeper aspects of it and like the, the previous storylines. Now, I only started listening to the archers. Um, it must have been... Um, four or five years ago it was when I just started booktube I just met Simon and him and his husband listened to it and they said that I should listen to it now this was following um I started listening just after a massive storyline um which involved a character Helen Archer and her um husband I believe he was at the time uh, a man called Rob who was gaslighting her and emotionally abusing her um this resulted in her killing him um or, or stabbing him I think he died or maybe he's in prison no, maybe he just anyway, she stabbed him. Um and apparently this was like this was a really big long storyline that had been sort of like years in the making and a lot of build up and things like that. So when I came to Ar the Archers not realizing that this has just happened, um there was a lot of work going on behind the scenes to sort of keep female characters um to the to the place that they they were in terms of like the Helen Archer like a central character. That being said, 
We've already looked at the fact that the archers very, very rarely passes the Beckdale test, which is a test, if, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a test whereby um, any sort of like piece of film, TV, in this instance, radio program, has to have two named female characters who talk to each other about something other than a man. Um, and sadly, the archers very rarely pass that. Um, it's also interesting is that one of the characters, Susan Carter, um, she um, has actually written an essay in this book. She plays, uh, she plays the part, Susan Carter, her name's Charlotte Martin. Um, or Dr. Charlotte, Co Charlotte Connor. She's also um, got a, uh, a degree now in psychotherapy, I think. Um, she is a very gossipy character and there's a lot of like going into her background and her background sort of um, working class and her not having a career or not having um, uh, sort of the things that the men characters in the Archers have and that leads her to be, um, in order to be a main player in the Archers, she has to be a gossip. Anyway, I don't know how interesting this is for people who don't listen to The Archers, but I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm really, really enjoying doing this. I'm about to move on to the next one, which is, um, this is, I'm on to section two now, and this is about women's talk, informal information, networks that sustain the village. And the first one is about Neighbourhood Watch, gossip, power, and the working class matriarch in The Archers. So yeah, I'm about to start that. Let's do it. Well, it's all been going rather well, except that I'm a bit hot, so I took my scarf off. Don't worry, it's being returned almost instantly. Um, yeah, so I've done four now. I've made quite a lot of notes. I really am having a lovely time, and this is making me think, maybe I should study for something, guys, because I like studying, and I'm having a lovely time doing so. Um, let me know if that's something you have done afterwards, like after you finished uni or something. Have you gone back and studied something? How easy is it to do it? Uh, maybe I just want to do it. I just feel like I, I've, I've enjoyed it so much. Anyway. It's quarter past one. David has walked to the shop for me to get eggs because he is an absolute love. Um, I am going to make myself some, this is not a good, like delicious, normally we eat delicious food in this house. Today we're having, <laughs> I had egg on toast for breakfast. I'm having pasta and sauce because that's a very student-y lunch. Um, and then for dinner I'm having sausage, beans and mash. So um, yeah, not the best sort of like most, um, uh, sort of inventive cooking day um, but hey that, that that's what life was like as a student so I'm going to um, make my pasta and sauce whilst I'm doing so I'm going to listen to not anything to do with the archers because I've listened to all my archers episodes now I'm going to listen to Wondersmith the calling of Morrigan Crow the second book in the Morrigan uh, the Nevermore series I've got about two and a half hours before that's finished, so while I'm making the cake and stuff, I'll do that. Uh, and then I'm going to come back, and the next essay I've got to look at is In Praise of Gossip, Why Tongue Wagging and the Rumour Mill Are Important in Ambridge. Now, what I will say about this is that a lot of this has been about Susan Carter, um, who uh, who is, like, the sort of main gossip in um, in The Archers, which I was sort of expecting. Um, but, yeah, there's a, there's a lot in there. Now, I've also realised that this press, so Emerald Publishing, they have published, like, quite a lot of books about the archers. So I think I'll do this again because the next one, listen to the title of this. Something about custard tarts. There's another book of these and that I'm going to look into their press and how many other books of these they've got because I'm having a lovely time doing this. But, yeah, notes, books. I'm going to go and make lunch. So, as I said, it's pasta and sauce for... <laughs> lunch which is one of the most lowbrow but delicious foods ever this is pasta and sauce it's a sachet of pasta and sauce this is the cheese and broccoli one david likes the mac and cheese one i don't i'm not an animal um but yeah this is like pure university stuff that i would have eaten along with super noodles and stuff like that but i love it does anyone else have really like lowbrow food that they just love i just love it now it's cake making time. This is the cake I'm making, but not white chocolate and peach. Mandarin. It's mandarin. And milk chocolate. I don't know why I've got this orange out. I don't actually need it. I thought I, I think I thought I was gonna do something fancy with it, but I'm not going to. Those are David's sausages. So I'm gonna to listen to a bit more Nevermore and uh, make this. Hawthorne's hands. Oh, I've done some very unstudenty things since I last saw you. I went for a run. You never would have caught me doing that as a student. I've still actually got my run clothes on. And actually, that's a bit of bean juice down me because for my dinner, I had sausage, mash and beans, which was 
delicious. Now I've done no studying, which is also quite studenty of me to sort of get right into it like for a couple of hours and then think, nah, fuck it. But also when I was a student, something I used to work very well with is work well at night. Now, my friend Emma has just left. She came over to watch Bake Off. It's five past 10, David's got his top off. Um, I think I'm going to do some studying now, night time. Now, as I said earlier, when I was a sh when I was a student, I used to do a lot of studying late at night. Now, I'm not going to do it too late at night um, because I haven't got an essay due tomorrow, but I definitely worked quite well at night. Now, what I will say is I've got 57 pages into this book today. The book is only 180 something pages. And I've got some graphs and stuff on the way. Um, and I've really, really, really enjoyed doing this. And I think I'm going to have a little look maybe into doing... Um, an open university course or something um, on women's studies because I knew that I missed studying but didn't realise quite how much um, and I've just had a lovely time doing it so what I've done basically I mean <laughs> here's studying tips from someone who doesn't even need to study or know what she's doing I've worked my way through my book um, and highlighted um, things that I'm going to expand upon or um, or date or quotes and things like that and then I've rewritten them and this is what I used to do for exams when I was younger we really feel like I'm playing schools or something and gone through and rewritten bits that I've highlighted in there so that way for me I'm taking it in twice I'm taking it in when I'm well maybe even three times because I'm taking it in when I'm reading it then going back and highlighting it and then rewriting it and then within this book here I've color coded here so I've done green um so green highlighted means dates pink highlighted means quotes uh, blue highlights means names and um, orange highlights means case studies or particular examples to the archers. Um, and I've just really enjoyed doing it today, guys. I really have. So I'm going to sit here and do this for a little bit. But yeah, let me know your relationship with studying. Do you miss studying? Did you study at school? Did you study at university? Are you studying for something now? Um, we'd love to hear from you. And yeah, I'm going to crack on with the last bit of this then. Okay, bye! Love this pen. Alexa, switch off living room.